Hello everyone and welcome back to another an amazing chess game from the chess history from 1862 from the London Chess Tournament. This is the not very well known chess tournament of London. So 1851 chess tournament is the famous one. This is not very famous but still Adolf Henderson was the winner of this tournament. So let's see what happened. In this chess game we have Wilhelm Steinitz with the white pieces. And his opponent is Thomas Wilson Barnes. In these, in these days, I showed few chess games of Thomas Wilson Barnes as he defeated both Paul Morphy and Adolf Henderson in those chess games. But this time his opponent was Wilhelm Steinitz. So let's see what happened in this chess game. Uh, this is also a must see chess game. So Wilhelm Steinitz starts the game with e4, c5 and we have the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, e6, bishop to e2 and pushing the pawn and developing the bishop. Knight to c3, a6, e5. f5, b3, not capturing the pawn with en passant. Knight to h6, knight to a6, queen to c7 and now targeting the pawn once again. Bishop goes back for the defense d4. So we can say that Thomas Wilson Barnes didn't play the opening very well. So he is going back with the bishop and not castling. Now black is supporting the pawn. Takes, takes and then activating the queen. And in this position maybe capturing the pawn and then the knight. If bishop takes pawn is a possibility. So knight goes back and queen to c3 targeting the pawn. Developing the knight. Not capturing rook from f to e1. And well, what can you do in this position? There are lots of weaknesses. Thomas Wilson Barnes captured on e5. But this was like playing with fire against Wilhelm Steinitz. Knight takes on e5. Knight takes. And then bishop to c4. Well, actually if you move the knight then capturing the rook is a possibility. Bishop can go back. You can also push the pawn and then capture the rook. If knight goes to f7 of course black can defend. Black can defend the rook, but in this position Thomas Wilson Barnes decided to sacrifice the exchange for two minor pieces. Knight takes on c4. Queen takes rook, but this was actually playing with fire. Knight takes on a3 and then queen takes on h7. We have queen to c6 and rook from a to d1, d5, knight to b6 by Wilhelm Steinitz. Sacrificing the knight. What was the purpose? Queen takes on b6 and then capturing the pawn. King to d8 and then checking the king. We have king to c7. So Wilhelm Steinitz lost three minor pieces for the exchange. We have king to c7. If bishop to e7, can you see what happens? Well, this is ultra aggressive. Then rook takes on d5. If blocking with the bishop, of course, if you take the rook, then capturing the queen, bishop to d7 and then bank. This is a possibility and capturing the queen. The rook is coming, so king to e7. But can you see a very nice tactic in this position? That is rook takes on d7 and then capturing the bishop and white has a very good compensation. Actually, this pawn is also going to fall and white is going to have three connected pass pawns. So even though black is a piece up, so okay, but this is still risky, of course. But Wilhelm Steinitz liked risky, aggressive attacking chess games. So king to c7 and then capturing the bishop. Of course, not blocking with the bishop because of the uh, variation that I showed you. King to c7 and then capturing queen to d6, not exchanging the queens. And then pushing the pawn d4 b4 if capturing the pawn then rook takes on d4 so queen is supporting the pawn knight goes back capturing defending the queen and then here comes another knockout blow wilhelm steinitz kept his eyes on the price and he sacrificed sorry this is not a sacrifice <laughs> the bishop is pinned but this is a crushing move a smashing move very nice Aggressive attacking move, so queen goes back, but now checking the king. King to c8, and then rook to b1. Knight to b4. If bishop takes rook, then takes, 
and basically black is getting force checkmated actually there is no defense in this position and how to defend you can't defend so pushing the pawn and then check mate this is unbelievable so this is why not capturing the rook but now rook to b1 knight goes back and then attacking the queen defending but now white has a winning move can you see the move that is queen to c5 and after blocking with the knight thomas wilson burns resigned after the next move of wilhelm steinitz of course that is rook to f8 this is pinning and winning losing the queen and the chess game what an incredible chess game by wilhelm steinitz from start to finish an incredible epic attacking chess game so i hope you enjoyed watching this chess game and i hope to see you next time with more interactive chess games like this one so take care stay safe and bye bye